see this beautiful drop three ringer in there. I finally pulled some silver on the ground. Yes! <laughs> Woo! So it's try day. Try 43. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm riding solo today. Uh, Julian's not feeling good. Clay's always working on the weekends, so I'm out here on a new permission that we got last. We did a talk at a library and we met a really cool person named Larry and uh, we're at Larry's house now. And the first hole that I dig at his uh, house, he's got a mid 1800s house. I'm using the Equinox 600, great signal. This is the first thing I got. Can you see it? I think we're gonna start off with the copper for the year. My first copper. Look at that, it's a large scent. US, you can already see the wreath. Let's see if we can get a bus. Looks like we're gonna get a bus too. Look at that, there she is. Beautiful. Let me clean it up a little bit more and I'll see if I can get a date off of it. Awesome start, great. So not too long since the uh, large scent, uh, I popped this really cool tag. Uh, I can't get the reading on it of what's on top. I know it says NJ. I'm assuming that's the date. And the 85, I don't, is that 1985 or is that 1885? And then where I'm hunting, Holland Township. So that's a pretty cool piece. I love to find stuff that has the name of the place that you're at. Kind of makes it a little more unique and special. Awesome, time for the next one. So next find, only a couple inches deep. Wish it was real, but these are always fun to find. Cool little ring. Check that out. The stone's missing from the middle, but that's okay. Oops. It's not any precious metal, it's a junker ring, but still fun to find. All right, let's go find some more. Hunting for a while now, and this is probably the highest signal that I've gotten. And as you can see, the hole pinpointer deep. Check out what I just dug. My first ever lock. Uh, it's got the number on it. That's so cool. Let me clean it off a little bit. Look at that. 521. Let me do a little bit of cleaning on this and then I'll. Uh, <laughs> they had to cut it, it looks like. Let me do a little cleaning. I'll get a little uh, better shot of it. So your boy got locked up. 521. It makes it so cool that they had to cut it. <laughs> that means the skeleton keys are on here somewhere, yeah? You got to find that to match it up. But looks like they had a tough time getting into whatever was locked up. But 521, what a beautiful lock for my first one. It's got a lot of character to it. Awesome. Happy for that one. All right, on to the next one. So let me show you this. This hole's f quickly filling up. This just fell in. Dumb nasty. <laughs> it's a big old button. Might as well wash it off now. Look how big this boy is. Big old dandy button. That's cool. Doesn't look like there's a pattern on it or anything. I thought it was a coin at first, but I felt the shank on the back. Pretty deep. It's so mucky out here. It's kind of gross, but look at that. Another cool find. All right, let's keep going. So after I cleaned up the dandy button, look at it. It does have a design on the front of it. That's cool. It's got like a wreath or something or a chain that goes around the, the edge. Cool find. All right, let's go get some more. Item that I dig is a mystery item. It's got a weird little uh, dot there in the front. Looks like it could have had a design. I'm thinking like a cane topper, but I'm not sure if that hole is broken or it was meant to be there. So I don't know. If you got any ideas, let me know. But that's my guess. All right, cool. Let's keep going. 
So Larry was nice enough to introduce me to his neighbors. The first hole that I dig here is a half cent. Look how beautiful that is. Let me clean it off and I'll get a better view of it. Two feet from where I found that half cent the previous time. Look how deep this hole is. Hold on. Sorry. Another pin pointer deep hole. Equinox 600. And another dandy button. Cool. This is a fun day. Let's keep going. So I got a junk necklace. I was hoping it was sterling, but it's not to go with my junk ring. Almost got a full outfit. Sweet. Let's keep going. Oh, still working this yard. I just moved over back to where I found the half cent and the dandy button. Seems to be a hot spot, but check this out. <sighs> Looks like a large cent to me. I don't know about you guys. Let's see. Getting this sun. There she is. An amazing large scent, yep. Yeah. Great shape, there's a bus. Look at that. Amazing, it's in really good shape too. Let me give her a little rub and I'll give you the final clean. Next hole, not very deep. Look at that beautiful green Indian head. 1896, you can see the impression there. It's been a good day so far, another copper, well, this is Indian head, but I'm on three copper coins and a couple other cool coins, so. All right, let's keep going. We still got some sunlight. So I'm sure the wind is kind of bad, but I think I got another Indian right after my other one. Let's pluck it out of there. I'm gonna... Oh no, it's a flat button. <laughs> Very nice. We'll never complain about a flat button. Cool. Let's go find another one. So today's probably been one of my best hunts uh, that I've had, especially for 2019. This is a good start. A uh, couple largies, a half cent, and then now this. Another large cent. Check it out. I'm not going to be able to get a date on this one. Is it a classic head? I can't tell. I can tell it's American. There's a wreath, one, wreath, one cent. But gosh darn it, what a good day. It's been incredible. Is that four coppers on the day? Plus the lock and a couple other things? This might be my last find. It's starting to get a little darker, but what a good day. What a good day indeed. So I'm going to film the wrap up now. Uh, this is a compilation of mostly today, but also last hunt. I didn't film anything, so I got a couple Indians in there from that hunt as well. Um, but overall, it was a super good day. Uh, we'll start. We got a bunch of clad from last time and a bunch of clad from this time. Those people dropped more quarters than I've ever seen. But then we'll move up. We found that ring and then a uh, heart-shaped necklace. Uh, three large scents. I got three Indian head pennies there. I got this awesome 1826 half cent. Um, I think the oldest coin was 1816 that I could read. A couple dandy buttons, buttons, buckles, lead bail seal. This awesome, awesome, awesome lock with the numbers 521 written on front of it. Uh, a couple more buckles, more buttons. Oh, and then the dog tag that I thought was really cool. So, overall, a great hunt, great permission. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it very much. And hopefully we can come back. All right. Catch you guys next time.